I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on quadratic applications. The question here is, the sum of squares of 4 consecutive integers is 630. Find the integers. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Consecutive integers means the numbers which come one after the other. So let the 4 consecutive integers b let's say x if x is the first one the next plus 1 will be the next x plus 2 will be after that and x plus 3 will be after that so these four will be consecutive integers so what are we given squares of four consecutive integers is 630 when you add them so sum of squares so let's say x square plus x plus 1 whole square plus x plus 2 whole square plus x plus 3 whole square is 630. That is what is given to us, correct? So we can expand and simplify. So we get x square plus when you expand this, you get x square plus 2x plus 1. Here you get x square plus 4x plus 4 and then x square plus 6x plus 9 equals to 630. So I hope you understand the formula which I have applied here. The formula is a plus b whole square, right? <clears throat> so let me write the formula here. a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So the center terms here are the 2ab terms. Now let's combine the like terms. 1, 2, 3, 4x squares are there, so let's write 4x squares, plus the x terms are 2 and 4, 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, so we have 12x, constants are 1 plus 4, 5, plus 9, 14, right, so plus 14, and we have uh, 630. Bringing 630 to the left side, we get 4x squared plus 12x minus, I mean, minus 630 plus 14 equals to 0. So now we can write this as 4x squared plus 12x, and that gives you minus, when you take away 14 from here, 6, 1, and 5, 1, 6, correct? Uh, rather, 6, 1, 6. Okay, 6, 1, 6. So <clears throat> equals to 0. Now, we could divide this by 4, so let's take 4 common, so we get x squared plus 3x minus 4 times 1, 21, 4 times 5, and 4 equals to 0. Now that could be factored, now we need to find factors of 154 so that the sum is 3. So easy way is to just look into factors of 140, 54. So you could say this as, uh, this could be divided by, let's say, 2. So 2 times 7 is 14, and then 77, and 7 can be factored as 7, 11. So the combination could be, we want sum of 3, right? So 7 times 2 is 14, so that works. So 14 and 11 can work, correct? So this is a good way of understanding how to pick two numbers so that we have their sum that is p plus q as 3 and the product p times q as minus 154. So here you see the numbers are 11 and 14 right 14 being positive so x plus 14 times x minus 11 equals to 0. Now that gives you two solutions one is x equals to minus 14 the other one is x equals to 11. Now as you see the equation here is sum of squares of four consecutive integers right so if I take minus 14 as one of those then the four will be what we can add one to each so we get minus 13 
minus 12 and minus 11. So that becomes one set. And the other will be when you take x equals to 11. And when you add 1, then you get 12, 13, and 14. So these are the two sets which form the four consecutive integers. Sum of squares of who is 630, right? So we get two sets here, and these are our answers, correct? So we get our answer as these two, one set or the other one, right? So that is how you could actually solve it. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like it, that'd be great. Thank you, and all the best.